I found a 10,000 watt solar panel on wish.com. I have a few concerns, especially because if you look at a 10,000 watt solar panel online, um, not only are they not $40, oh no, they're $15,000. I have some questions. Oh, quite a few actually. Just, just to go down the list, these are all like 12,000 and, uh, they, they pretty, um, big. Okay, we can agree. Big solar panels from this pictures. If it's the average person taking that picture and he's at average height taking the photo like around his chest, that's pretty big p solar panels. Let's go to the, th over here. So this is 420 millimeters by 190 millimeters. So this is a caliper, it's for my 3D printing stuff. Um, 190 is about yay big. So from here to here, okay. Okay, it's about how big it's wide. And uh, 420, as nice as that may be, is a little bit larger. Uh, but not, 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 not anywhere near. It might even be half, a fourth of the size of one of those panels. So, um, I have lots of questions, especially because if you look at the size of that on their back, they, they're not carrying this. Oh, we get a, a solar charge controller to plug in USB devices for $37 on wish.com. Uh, you better bet we're going to be plugging something into that. Uh, but you probably shouldn't. You go from 10 watts, you, 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 that's very reasonable for this, to go to 10,000 watts. Ah, okay, we'll check the wattage too, trust me. Um, so we have, we have like all the, you know, voltage and out, okay, 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 okay. LCD display, is there a battery in here? Please tell me not, because if it's 10,000 watts, that poor battery is going to explode. Okay, no, it connects to a battery. Okay, I don't know how much I trust this controller. Um, like, the worst part is it's just photoshopped all on here. Like, literally, they just take the picture and put the picture over whatever they're doing. It looks like it's photoshopped. Look at this. If you look at this image really well. Oh, boy, I lost it. There was plenty of pictures. It's going to be fun. Look at this image real quick. It looks photoshopped on top of the freaking box. It looks like they're just measuring the voltage. Hold on, if we go back up here too. We go back up here. So remember, so I think there was a schematic of what you're supposed to plug in. So it's connected to the loads. It's connected to the solar panels. Okay. We go look at what they're testing here. This is connected to the solar panels. So we see that wire goes into the battery. But what are they plugged up to? Oh, check this out. They took the same battery. Is that like a clip I would assume, right? No? Maybe there's a lead on that. It looks photoshopped out actually right there. It looks like that's photoshopped out. So they took the black lead. I'd assume there's a red lead over here. And they basically just hooked it up to the other side too. So the battery is going in this way. And the battery is also going in this way. Which doesn't sound particularly... um. Like a good idea. Just look at these look at these pictures. Oh yeah, we're actually going to power a fan. Let alone a phone. You know, we do stupid things on this channel, like plugging this in, so before we plug this into my computer, uh, make sure you guys subscribe! And uh, let's go through and waste uh, money on a 10,000 watt solar panel. So this is the 10,000 watt solar panel. And um... Might as well get rid of that. Let's see what we got. So we should have like a an adapter to it. Too. Okay, so here's my question. Um, this is it goes into a car, right? So it's even got a little USB thing. Okay, I doubt this is 10,000 watts. I doubt this is probably even like five, but sure.
Well, here's the solar charging controller. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have the 15,000 watt solar panel. Um, so this video is going to be slightly more educational than usual because in order for me to explain why this is such a scam, you have to understand a little bit of the background about how some of this stuff works. So watts is determined as voltage times current. And that means that uh, in order to supply 15,000 watts, um, you're going to need probably either a lot of volts, uh, a lot of current, or both. Um, so probably, let's see, just do some math real quick, wherever my phone is. So for example, if it's 1,500 watts, 15,000 watts, and just say that we have 150 volts, then you're looking at about 100 amps worth of current. So that means that uh, 150 volts is more than is in a wall outlet. Uh, so that means that it's going to create enough um, voltage that is past the 120 volts that's in DC or in AC mains, and uh, which is in your wall, and uh, you're going to need about 100 amps worth of current. 100 amps is um, you're going to need a pretty thick wire. So just just for example, this is a or you know something I plug into my wall. Um, this is I think only rated for like maybe you know 15, 20 amps, um, maybe even well probably maybe like 50 amps. This is rated for something that's about maybe a fourth or an eighth of what a 1500 watt, just the wires that should run from the panel to wherever you're plugging it into. So this is a fourth. So you're looking at something maybe this thick the wires should be. So this panel, um, jokes aside, this panel is very small and uh, I'm very familiar with small things. <laughs> so point being said, if we were just actually trying to produce 15,000 watts from said solar panel, um, good luck. You probably need something at least the size of probably like four or five cars, probably stacked right next to each other. That's about the rough estimate. Uh, so this uh, piddly small thing is going to have some issues with that. That should explain, at least tell you everything you need to know. And of course, the wire coming out of it is about, oh, it's small, we'll just say that. Not that small, but small. So yeah, it's 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 not going to produce exactly what uh what it's advertised as. Uh, additionally, on the back, um, it says it only does uh, three amps max and a five volts DC. Uh, so basically, translation, um, uh, it's not fifteen hundred or one hundred and fifty volts or one hundred amps. It's and that's just a combination I chose arbitrarily. Uh, it's five volts and three amps, which means that at max, this can put out 15 watts, not 15,000, 15 watts. So, uh, I, I got very much less than I paid for. Um, additionally, it came with this wonderful little cord here. Now, um, also quick bits of advice. Uh, generally... Uh, you include rubber on things that, I don't know, are a, a dangerous hazard to you. you know, I'm sure this is included there because people don't like the idea of touching electrical stuff. Um, well, the problem is things get dangerous when you get up around 35, 40 watts um, because that's the wa voltage or the amount of pressure that really can uh, you know, actually break your skin. And then, of course, it can conduct through your body. Um, this puts out at most 5 volts. So... Um, I mean, I wouldn't lick it, duh, you're going to reduce the resistance and therefore make it a little bit easier. Um, but, like, your skin is pretty tough and doesn't like to conduct electricity. It's dry, dry skin, usually. So, this is the same stuff that would, of course, go into your phone. So, um, at most, this might, no, probably not, it may slightly charge a phone over, like, three days. That's about what this is capable of putting out 15 watts. Um... So, and that's of course, assuming we've got it in the sun, uh, I'll go outside and we'll test that. It's a nice sunny day, so we should be pretty good. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot and see if it can charge anything. Additionally, it's got two USB ports on the back, which like overall, like if we were just to take a step back, I think this would be a solid deal for like five bucks, 10 bucks. Like, heck yeah, go for it. I think I paid like what, 50 bucks for it. So I don't know why we've got like, what are you going to charge with this? Here, here's another piece of uh, technology we're going to need to use in order to verify our... Uh, there's not much left to verify. This is obviously a joke. Um, 
but something I just want to see how bad of a joke this is. This is a multimeter. This does a lot of different things. You've got a voltmeter, which basically in translation measures the two important pieces of information we're going to be talking about for the solar panel. You've got voltage and the current, which are the two important things we need to know here. Um, so voltage is, first off, supposed to be at five volt max. So um, we can turn on the volt. Obviously this isn't out in the sun, but for the most part, we can, you know, turn on the voltmeter. This is, this is AC and DC, okay? And uh, we can, you know, basically connect up the, the, the prongs here, assuming this, these actually produce something, and see how many volts it actually, like, will spit out. Ah, it, it's four volts, four volts, okay. Uh, but keep in mind, power delivery is based on current and voltage, and right now there's not any current being drawn from this. Multimeter drill is a very small amount. Um, so you're really... You're not even reaching the 5 volt specification when you're not drawing any current, which is pretty much like nothing, no water, zero, pretty much equivalent, and you're not even meeting the first requirement that you set out on this board. Obviously, it's not in the sun. Um, so my next, my next really interesting thing I'm curious to see is uh, when I go step out and put this in the sun, uh, I'm going to be able to charge my phone. That's going to be the, the next, the next question I'm going to have. So this is a solar panel. This goes on window. Nice bright shiny day. I'd say this is about as good sun you're gonna get. Uh, I mean it is almost fall. I think it is fall, but still. Good sun. And I plug it into my lovely phone here. And it recognizes it's charging. And then it disappears and says it's no longer charging. So uh, basically, uh, it doesn't charge anything. Nice try. So I took it apart. Um, I was curious to see, it looked like it wasn't attached, but it looks like it is attached in two places. Um, I wasn't able to get any, uh, like a current to flow through it or whatever. I think it's, it did work. It did at least show up some power. Um, I tried getting like it to light up because technically you can make solar panels light up the same thing as LEDs. Um, I just don't know if it's the, I wasn't able to do it for some reason. Um, but yeah, for the most part. I think it is a low quality solar panel. Um, I just don't think that it was, uh, was it 10,000 watts actually is what it ended up being. Um, I don't think so uh, by any means, uh, especially with the controller attached to it not even supporting that. Um, yeah, so point of the story is guys, don't buy from Wish. Um, you expect to get 10,000 watts for $50, do I mind you? And you're gonna end up with, well, I, I calculated it out. It was putting out roughly maybe like 2.5 on the window right there. Um, so it's not even charging, you, you know, doesn't even meet the requirements to charge an iPhone. So uh, yeah, it certainly has some problems. Anyway, I want to sincerely thank you for joining into today's video and uh, tune in for the next couple because uh, I'm letting people download more viruses on my computer. And uh, you guys have sent in some wild stuff for me to put in my computer in the next video as well. So you guys have a absolutely wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.